Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an appointment schedule in Google Calendar. This is different than appointment slots. It's a new feature, so let's take a look at how it works. So here I am in my Google Calendar account, and I'm going to go to the Create menu and select Appointment Schedule. And now I'm going to create a bookable appointment schedule. And let's say this is going to be office hours with Mr. Byrne. And each appointment will make this one, make them 15 minutes long. And now let's set the availability. It's not going to be 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. I'm going to make it 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. on Monday, on Tuesday, and on Wednesday. So let's make that change there and that change. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, these other ones I'm going to remove from my availability. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday from 3 to 5 p.m. I have office hour appointments of 15 minutes that are available. And you can see here I can set my scheduling window 60 days in advance to up to four hours in advance. And let's change that out. Let's say I'm going to make it bookable just 15 days in advance and you can book it with me as little as one hour in advance and if i don't want to use those settings i can just say start and end dates and select a date range for my appointments so let's say i want to start today november 16th and end perhaps february 14th or maybe right at the end of the semester, which in this case here, will make it the 20th of December. Click done, and there we have it. Now, I can put in some buffer time if I want to, but for my office hours, I'm not gonna put in any buffer time, and down there we have our color for the event on the calendar itself once it's booked. Now, it's going to repeat weekly, but you can also say, do not repeat, but I'm going to make it repeat weekly. Now, let's hit next. Okay. And let's set up our booking page, photo, and name, and provide a little information for people to know where to find me. So, in this case here, I'm just going to use my default profile picture that I have for my Google account. If I want to change that, I can go in and change that in my Google account profile picture and select where to meet. Now you can see here, we can use the option for Google me, an in-person meeting, a phone call or none to be specified later. Now, if I go in-person meeting, I'm going to put in a location and let's just say school library. But if I start typing school library, it's now searching for things on Google Maps. So that's perhaps something to keep in mind if you are using something generic like school library, it might be very easy to accidentally click on a different location than the one you intended. And I'm going to say, please be on time if you cannot make it to your appointment please send me an email in advance okay. now my booking form first name last name email address that's all i really need to get from the person attending my office hours and i can now have a little reminder sent out to those people who have put in their email address and now we'll save it and there's our booking page go ahead and open up that booking page you can give that link to anybody who you want to have sign up for an appointment on your booking page now again this is different than the old appointment slot feature this is open for anyone who has access to this shared page to sign up for an appointment. 
So it could be useful if you wanted to have parents sign up for an appointment with you. When they don't have an email address issued by your school, they can sign up with any email address they want. So that's the new appointment page feature available in Google Calendar. If you don't see that feature in your account yet, talk to your Google Workspace Domain Administrator and make sure that they have that enabled for you. As always, for more things like this, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.